two passing seagoing canoes pulled him out of the water and rode him to the nearest beach, dumped him on the sand. Coming to, he recognised the place, Coogee Beach, near Sydney in Australia. He'd been there many times and was close to the spot where an alleged sighting of the Virgin Mary, or Coogee Madonna as it became known, had taken place in 2003, just prior to the invasion of Iraq by the US Alliance forces and one year after the Bali bombing at the Surrey Club which killed members of a sports team based in Coogee. Agent Cooper visited this place shortly after the visitation, spotted, oddly enough, from a laundry doorway close by. He had overheard the following conversation as he passed the spot between a mother and her adult son, who were pilgrims from Melbourne. Mother, I've been a devout Catholic all my life, but I'm telling you, that is a fucking French post. Looking up past the memorial spot, he spotted the two dancing fools again, on the cliff top, between Coogee and Clavelli, but they looked like something from his past, like an old silent movie being played in slow motion, as if taunting him. Cooper retired to a nearby restaurant to recover. He bore an odd resemblance to one in Kuala Lumpur, and he half expected to see the master there sipping tea from a saucer, but no. He made his way along the coast towards Crovelli. The rocks along the coastline reminded him at times of pottery that had been fired in a Japanese Anagama wood-fired kiln where the flames, ash and clay combine to create a glaze of great variation and texture. They are painted by flames, as someone once put it. Cooper knew Cavalli. It was the place where he had once attended a Hawaiian ritual involving decorated ukuleles to invoke hula dreams of dancing, not unlike tarantalism, but slower. Each individual ukulele invoking a different dream and dance, leading to ecstatic, mystical revelation. He could do with some of that right now, he thought. Laying on the rocks in a hula dream, a voice in his head said, A man should get to know himself a little better each and every day, if he hasn't the guts to end his snivelling once and for all. He recognised it as coming from Shalene's journey to the end of the night. Damn right, he thought to himself, and decided it was time to continue his own journey to the end. News had come through on his communicator that both the Dancing Fools and the Master had been located by satellite in Ballina, further north up the Pacific Highway. Ballina, he thought. What's in Ballina? He was told they had both been spotted on a skateboard park near the beach riding BMX bikes.